All right, hi everyone. I'm Justin and this is Valley Hockey Talk. Today I'm bringing you breaking news that John Hines of the New Jersey Devils has been fired. So the head coach of the New Jersey Devils, John Hines, has been fired. But first I want to thank everyone for watching and remind everyone to please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. All right, so John Hines was the head coach of the New Jersey Devils for the past five seasons. They've only made the playoffs once within that run and they most recently lost the Buffalo Sabres 7-1 and they were just blown out of the arena. It was really bad. Um, and because of this, he has been fired. So he's actually being fired for on ice performance of his team and nothing extra like the Bill Peters situation or Mike Babcock or any of these other situations. This is actually for the on ice performance because the New Jersey Devils were expected to be a playoff team or at least contend for a playoff spot. So Ray Shiro, the GM, brought in PK Subban in a big trade this summer. He has Taylor Hall on an expiring contract. They drafted Jack Hughes. They have Nico Heeshear, who's a former first round pick. They brought in Wayne Simmons. They brought in a lot of nice pieces. A lot of people thought they'd be a dark horse team to sneak into the wild card, maybe make a round in the playoffs, maybe not, but at least be competitive this year. While they're second last in the league, which is obviously terrible, they're going for another lottery pick. And Taylor Hall is probably going to leave because they've been playing so bad. The performance has been terrible. You know, he might have left anyways because he wants to be a UFA, but that remains to be seen. They haven't played well, and he says he doesn't want to play on a team that isn't going to make the playoffs because he only has so much time left in this league, which makes sense for him because this is actually his eighth head coach already. He's not even 30 years old. He's had eight head coaches and he's likely to get traded or leave at the end of the year. So he's going to have another coach. So he's going to, he might break the record for most head coaches in the NHL. I'm not sure what the record is, but we'll see what happens. So Ray Shiro isn't happy for sure. He fires John Hines, makes a lot of sense. And he brought in Elaine Nazardine. So the head coach of the New Jersey Devils for the past five seasons. He's going to be the head coach. And then they promoted Peter Horacek uh, from a pro scout to be the assistant coach under Nazardine. So they're going to go with some homegrown talent, some guys within the organization, see if they can turn it around this way. This way, it'll give them some more time to give an audit of the team. I'm sure Shiro's not expecting them to make the playoffs or anything now this year. It takes a little bit of pressure off Nazardine. And I'm sure they're going to get a high pick and then they can reassess things in the summer. But anyways, Shiro is familiar with Nazardine from Nazardine's time with Wilkes-Barre Scratton, so that's the AHL team of the Pittsburgh Penguins, and then Nazardine also played for the Pittsburgh Penguins, so most people know that Shiro was the longtime GM of the Pittsburgh Penguins. He was within that organization for a long time, and Nazardine played for the Penguins. He played for Wilkes-Barre, and he was there for a really long time, and he was a really good leader throughout the, his time there. And uh, if you listen to Spit and Chicklets podcast at all, uh, Ryan Whitney and Paul Bissonnette talk about him quite a bit. Um, and anyways, he's known to be a pretty good guy around the league. So he wasn't a star or anything. He played a lot, most of his career in the AHL. He played a little bit in the NHL. He was the defenseman. Um, but anyways, this will be his first crack at being an NHL head coach. So this will be his first time being an NHL head coach. Uh, so this will be a good time for Ray Shearer to see how he does for the rest of the year. Like I said, there'll be no pressure on him that way. And then he can reassess things in the summer. If all these things weren't going on with Mike Babcock and stuff coming out about him, I would have said, well, maybe he could go coach the New Jersey Devils. Right now, I think Shiro would have too much backlash if he went and hired a guy like Babcock right now. I think teams better wait till at least the offseason or next year sometime. So anyways, big news out of the Devils. Fired head coach John Hines. So he'll be looking for another job, I'm sure. Um, and he's always been known as to be a good coach. It just, just hasn't worked out with the Devils organization. So we'll see what happens with him. If he ends up taking, taking an assistant coach job with another team, or maybe he goes back to the junior or the farm teams and busy head coach. It remains to be seen, but anyways, the big news is he's fired. The Devils aren't playing very well, and Taylor Hall's probably leaving because of that. And there's a lot of speculation out there right now. Make sure to check out my Taylor Hall Trade Destinations video, as that still applies even more today, maybe, than it did when I put it out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.